Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody in between, welcome to another episode on the Hoops Crew Media Network. My name is Jake, popping into your feed just quickly this morning with a really snappy look at today's AFLW practice match against the Bombers. Wanted to just go through the lineup that's been offered by the Cats, talk a little bit about some injury news that's happened in the last couple of days with um, Geelong's live wire forward Chloe Shear uh, being ruled out for the first half of the season after undergoing toe surgery. So yeah, we'll just have a look at a few different angles heading into this match today against the Bombers. It all goes down at 1pm up at Windy Hill uh, against the Bombers. Now, you can watch this game live stream via the Cats website, uh, so I definitely recommend you do that if you want an early look at how the team is going to line up. And this is the selected side they've gone in with. It's Chantal Emanson and Claudia Gunjaka down back. It's Becky Webster, Meg McDonald, and Rachel Kearns across halfback. Kearnsy, obviously, yeah, found a good home at halfback last season. Took him a while to figure out where best to use her, but I think, uh, yeah, off halfback definitely has uh, been a spot she's looked the most comfortable. The centre, Zali Friswell, Nina Morrison, and Michaela Bowen. Half forwards, Kate Kenny. We'll get back to Kate Kenny in a minute. Jackie Perry, uh, Jackie Parry, rather. Kate Sermon, and up forward in the full forward line, you've got Ashling Maloney and Kate Darby, the ruck. Lily Pierce, newly signed player Lily Pierce this offseason, uh, as well as Amy McDonald and Julia Crockett Grills, the interchange, uh, Georgie Rankin, Abby McDonald, Gabby Featherston, Brooke Plummer, Anna Rose Kennedy, uh, Bridie O'Rourke, Chantel Mason, Caitlin Thorne, and the emergencies are Bella Smith and Georgie Presparkas. Now, let's start with the big news of the week, that, of course, being the injury to Chloe Shear. Ruled out for the first half of the season with that toe surgery. Uh, really, obviously, an unfortunate start to Geelong's campaign. Sort of comes off the back of a tricky off-season for the Cats uh, in a couple of departments, specifically uh, the Ruck, where they had um, both Erin Hoare and Olivia Fuller, who were their two sort of primary Rucks last season, uh, retire. Erin Hoare retired. Um, Olivia Fuller moved off to uh, moved on to the inactive list to pursue other um, career opportunities, I believe in Air Force firefighting or something like that. Uh, so the Cats, they've brought in Lily Pierce to address that ruck issue. So I'm going to be fascinated to watch how Lily Pierce goes about it. Um, Geelong obviously have w one of the best midfields in the competition um, with Nina Morrison, Georgie Prasparkas, Amy McDonald, all being able to line up around the stoppage. And that's just sort of the front line starters. You've got others who can play in there as well and certainly have. So getting them a uh, good ruck service is imperative to Geelong winning uh, games of footy this season. And they'll want to win a fair few of them after falling short of a grand final last year by just one game. So interested to look how Lily Pierce uh, goes in this practice match. It'll be my first chance to, to watch um, the type of player she is. But getting back to Chloe Shear, that is a massive uh, loss for the Cats inside the first half of this season. Um, we saw last year, I think it was, where the Cats sort of, I can't remember if we banked early wins. I feel like that's how it went. We banked early wins, had a bit of a drop off in the middle of the year, came good at the end to make finals. That was either last year or the year before. Um, point being, uh, getting some early wins in the AFLW is absolutely crucial. Um, because it means you can probably survive a little bit of a dip in form. It's it's very hard uh, to make finals in the AFLW after a slow start to your season, just given the nature of the shorter length of the competition, just 12 home and away games. So how are the Cats going to try and address the Chloe Shear absence? Um, I think you've already got Ford's down there. Jackie Parry was probably the most improved player on the Cats last season. Uh she was always, you know, a decent player uh, in her first, you know, few games at the Cats. But last season, she really just transformed into an incredible sort of leading, marking link player for the Cats. She began to sort of trust herself more. 
I think just going for goal on instinct, and she certainly kicked more goals. I believe it was a career-high goal-kicking year for Jackie Parry. So she is certainly a player who could step up and fill some of that um, breach. But she was already in the lineup. Uh, so, you know, she is she was already there, and you've now taken something in Chloe Shear, uh, who was a massive presence, away. So Jackie Parry can help fill some of that. Ashling Maloney. Uh, an Irish recruit from last season from County Tipperary had an absolutely stellar breakout campaign. I think she can bring some of that sort of creativity uh, and threat, not just inside the Ford 50, but further up the ground that Chloe Shear can. She's a really difficult matchup uh, for any defender in the AFLW. Not only is she, you know, exceedingly tall, she's also highly athletic Um yeah, able to twist, turn, navigate through traffic, throw off an opponent. She, If she builds on what she did uh, last season in her rookie year, I think you could absolutely see her getting into an All-Australian team this year in just her second year, Ashling Maloney. She's got that capacity. Um, if she was a little more accurate in front of goal last year, she, yeah, she would have had an insane amount of scores. Um, she tries you know, shots from places. I don't think it, other players would even imagine uh, going for goal. She's just that exciting. So I think she helps. You know, if you didn't have Ashling Maloney, then the loss of Chloe Shear would be even more so. But the player I'm interested to watch today is a player that's playing in their rookie campaign, also an Irish woman, and that is Kate Kenny, uh, recruited by the Cats from County Offaly. And this would be just her second game with a footy in hand. She played the match sim last weekend. Um, saw a few sort of tweets and accounts saying that, you know, was, you know, still learning the game. But I've watched Kate Kenny play a bit of sort of ladies Gaelic football and she is a potential superstar, another potential Irish superstar for the Cats up forward, honestly. Uh, she is creative. She's combative. She's, you know, really aggressive in terms of her instincts, you know, for shooting for goal uh, from a variety of different ranges. She's got that sort of poacher's instinct, uh, inside attack. And also, I think the vision uh, and creativity to bring her teammates into the game. So Jackie Parry and Ashley Maloney were both in that forward line last year with Chloe Shear. What we're looking for, I suppose, is someone else, that third party to come in now and help fill that Chloe Shear role. I'm fascinated to, to watch Kate Kenny today because, you know, you look at her playing Gaelic football and, you know, you would go, that's almost like a like for like, you know, you bring a dangerous Gaelic football forward in to re replace a really dangerous uh, AFL W forward. It's like for like, but there's that adjustment period and it can take players, um, you know, a varying amount of time to get used to, to the new game. Um, you know, Ashley Maloney developed really quickly in, in her rookie season. She looked supremely uh, confident and comfortable in the new sport. You go to a player like Rachel Kearns, who easily had sort of the requisite physicality, super physical player, uh, a very willing tackler. Uh, the, 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 um, the contact part of the game, really not an issue for Rachel Kearns. You know, she's got, you know, medals in boxing, a, I don't know if she's played rugby. I know she played soccer over in um, Ireland. But so she had no problem adjusting to, you know, being fit enough, strong enough, fast enough, aggressive enough for the game. But it was sort of the, the finesse parts of the sport that I think Rachel Kearns just took that little bit longer to develop. She really found a home down on half back last season. And, and I think they found the perfect spot to use her skill set. So I'm, I'm interested to see with Kate Kenny. Does she fit into that Ashling Maloney as we get a cat make an appearance? It's 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 as it should be. Um, you know, does she have that Ashling Maloney fast track development where she just looks at home in year one, or does she take a little bit longer, like a player like Rachel Kearns? Maybe she doesn't fit immediately where we think she will, and it'll take a little while to move her around and find that spot. But if she does warm to the sport quickly, we could have an absolute uh, pair of Irish superstars on our hands up forward. So going to be watching 
uh, Kate Kenny really closely in this practice match. Um, likewise, Anna Rose Kennedy, another Irish woman who we didn't get to see last year, uh, except for one game. She came in for the prelim. I believe that was her debut. That's a rough spot to come in for your first game of competitive footy. So interested to see how she develops in year two and obviously also be keeping an eye on players like Bridie O'Rourke, who'll be you know, making her AFLW debut for the Cats this season. Caitlin Thorne, who comes over from Box Hill. By all reports uh, from some of the people we trust over at Box Hill, uh, an absolute star, an absolute gun, a brilliant get for the Cats. Interested to see how she goes. And Chantel Mason, I watched her play VFLW for the Cats this year. She's a player that if Kate Kenny can't fill that Chloe Shear void in the first half of the season, Chantel Mason may well be able to. She has one of the best set of marking hands I've seen uh, in all of women's footy, honestly. She just clunks everything that comes her way. She has a great work rate up around the ground, also super deadly inside forward 50 Yeah, she she was a cut above VFLW level, really. When, when the Cats... You know, the Cats VFLW, if you W, if you watch them this season, they struggled a bit with the midfield. They had a lot of outs uh, this year through injury and also just losing star players from last season. So they, they were down a bit in the midfield this year, but the games where they were able to actually win a bunch of the footy and get it to Chantel Mason, she was absolutely electric to watch. So fascinated to see how all of these players go uh, in this practice match. It'll be my first chance to watch them this season. Hope you do as well. I feel like I've said a bit fantastic, uh, fascinated. I'm fascinated to watch about 17 players uh, in this little preview. So that's it from me. I hope you'll watch the AFLW practice match 1 p.m. Uh, streaming live on Geelong's uh, website. So you can go on over there, click through uh, from the news article and, and follow the link, etc., etc. All right, that's enough from me. Until next time, go Cats.